Bamberg, a beautiful medieval city located in Bavaria on the river Main, is sometimes called the Rome of the North. In fact, for a short time during the 11th century, the city was actually the center of the so-called Holy Roman Empire. Like Rome, Bamberg was built on seven hills, each crowned by a church. The city is almost in its entirety comprised of historical buildings, a beautiful cathedral, and an old city hall in the middle of the river. A tranquil, almost picture-perfect German city which remained untouched and was not destroyed by World War II bombings. Nevertheless, history left its mark on this city too. Not only kings, princes and bishops called Bamberg their home, but also a young officer whose courage and virtue has not been forgotten. His name was Count Klaus Philipp Maria Schenk Graf von Stauffenberg and was later known as the courageous man who, on July the 20th, 1944, attempted to rid Germany of the tyrant Adolf Hitler. Colonel Count Klaus von Stauffenberg, who represented the one beacon of hope that pierced the dark cloud of tyranny which had settled over Germany. The events of July the 20th, 1944, marked a turning point in Germany's history and remain seared into my memory because a few brave men tried to act against injustice. But my father, a highly decorated World War II tank commander, was not among them. He was a believer, a believer in the Nazi system and Adolf Hitler. I was born on May the 9th, 1958 in Bamberg, Germany, as the second child of Arthur and Elizabeth Wolschläger, was baptized and raised in the Catholic faith. I spent the first 10 formative years of my life here in the house at Schützenstrasse 20 in Bamberg. I grew up in the shadow of a father who considered himself a war hero and never missed an opportunity to tell me how Hitler personally awarded him the Knight's Cross for conquering Orel, a strategically located Russian city. I also grew up in the shadow of Count Klaus von Stauffenberg, whose portrait was hanging in the hallway next to the stairway leading upstairs to his former apartment. His widow Nina was at that time living there. As a young boy, I remember asking my father once, and only once, about the man depicted in the portrait. He looked at me and answered sternly, he was a traitor, and never asked me about him again. I was confused. My father and this man, Klaus von Stauffenberg, looked almost the same in their German officer's uniform. Why was one a traitor and my father a hero? As a child, I did not understand the meaning or difference between them. I was afraid to ask, but curious to find out what made this man so different to my father. Little did I know that the search for answers would change my life dramatically. Schützenstraße 20, Eingang here. It's exactly the same sign. I mean, I remember it uh, exactly the same way. So my father was uh, holding me as a child, and I still have the pictures. Um, the garden, the garage, everything is totally the same. There is no change. It's a time machine. The trees, the bushes, it's, it's a mirror image. Uh, I mean, I feel myself like set back in, in, in time. And I saw pictures of the Stauffenberg family sitting on the stairs here. It's a sign that the, 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 the symbol of the, of the Stauffenberg family above the door. We were living in this apartment right here. This was our apartment that, that we rented. So, and it, it, nothing changed even in the color of the building. I mean, there is, uh, I even question if they ever put any color in the building since I left because it looks the same, exactly the same. It is a mirror image of time. It's almost as time has stood still, totally has stood still here. And um, maybe that's the, uh, that's the meaning of history, of, of that, that, that if you would have left here yesterday, nothing has changed. Maybe intentionally she hasn't changed anything for that purpose. 
And it's interesting, there's no memorial plaque here that reminds people that this is the House of Stauffenberg, or was the House of Stauffenberg. Who was Count Klaus von Stauffenberg? He was born on November the 15th, 1907, as the third of three sons of Alfred Schenk Graf von Stauffenberg, the last highest ranking administrative royal court official of the Kingdom of Württemberg, and Caroline Schenk Grafin von Stauffenberg, herself a countess. His family was one of the oldest and most distinguished aristocratic families of southern Germany, tracing their ancestry back into the 12th century. As a teenager, he experienced the political turmoil in Germany following the defeat of the German Empire in World War I. Its economy crushed under the stifling reparations imposed on Germany by the victorious allies in the Treaty of Versailles. Stauffenberg wanted to serve his country and help it to emerge from the humiliating defeat. Therefore, in 1926, he enlisted in the truncated post-Versailles Reichswehr, or German Army, and joined the 17th Cavalry Regiment in Bamberg. There, he also met Nina, Freien von Lerchenfeld, a 16-year-old girl from a Baltic German aristocratic family. They both knew at that time already that they were destined for each other and despite their parents' initial reluctance decided to marry. They were engaged on his 23rd birthday and married three years later. Their wedding took place on September the 26th, 1933 in St. James Catholic Church in Bamberg. Klaus von Stauffenberg wore his officer's uniform and his steel helmet, and replying to her question of his austere and military dress code, he answered, to wet is to be on duty. He quickly rose to the rank of a junior officer and was promoted lieutenant in 1933.